No! Jillian! Yeah. Follow us! We'll take you to go meet our anchors! <laughs> I'm Hallie. I'm Paulie. And I'm Abby. And these are your morning announcements. Heads up that the annual post-secondary fair will be held at NRHS on Thursday, November 15th in the afternoon. You can take your parents to the post-secondary fair from 5.30 to 6.30 on Wednesday, November 14th at NNEC. Monetaris Cox Flock Meeting in East Feet's room today at lunch. This meeting will be for information on keeping score at basketball games. If you're interested, please attend this meeting. New members are always welcome. A reminder to grade 11 students involved in leadership at NRHS or in the community. The deadline to apply to International Leadership Camp in Capeche, Mexico is next Thursday, November 15th. Applications can be picked up in student services and they should be submitted to Mr. O'Toole or Ms. Brown. Textile Drive is this week. Today is the last day. There is a bag, not box, in the office only this week. Sort out your closet, declutter, and donate some clothes you no longer wear. There will be a pasta sale at lunch on Thursday, November 15th, for $2 to raise money for the debate clubs model on trip. If you want to get some delicious pasta or if you have any questions about MUN, come on down to the food lab at lunch on Thursday. Dalhousie has announced that there is still room for a few people to register at their Medical Hall of Fame Discover Health Sciences Day on Friday, November 16th. No matter if you are in grade 10, 11, or 12, if you would like to come learn more about careers in the health sciences, this event could be for you. See Ms. Brown's Student Services to register or for more information. NSCC is ready to accept scholarship applications for students that will be attending next year. If you would like to help with this process, sign up for a tutorial in Student Services. If you have purchased school pictures, please check with Donna and Laurie at the window outside the office to pick them up as soon as possible. NRHS remembers this week. There will be events all week. Today and tomorrow there will be wreath decorating and coloring at lunch in room 1027 in the French Pod. Remember to wear your poppies on Thursday for our Remembrance Day service, which was yesterday, so I hope you wore your poppies. Um, Friday there will be cookies on sale in the foyer in support of the Legion. Hope to see you there, Nighthawks. Have you ever considered a career as an air traffic controller? If you are accepted into the training program, you are guaranteed a job when you graduate. Any student from grades 9 to 12 that are interested in hearing about this opportunity should sign up in student services for a presentation from NAVCAM. Teachers, if you have interest for your classes, feel free to sign up the entire class by emailing Ms. Brown. The presentation will be second period on November 14th. There will be a meeting in Ms. Connor's room today at the beginning of lunch for all international students. Thank you to all of our participants in the Remembrance Day service yesterday. A special shout out to Mr. Sutherland, Mr. Todd, Ms. McDonald, and Mr. Jennings. A wreath will be laid by a Northumberland student at the River John Westville and Stellarton services on Sunday. We encourage all of you to visit your local service on Sunday at 11 a.m. Pictou County Invasion Volleyball Club will be hosting officials course on Sunday, November 11th from 5 to 7 and Monday, November 12th from 9 to 4 at New Glasgow Academy. This certification will allow you to ref volleyball games and is a great opportunity to make some extra money. For more information on how to register, check out the Pictou County Invasion Volleyball Club on Facebook. <laughs> happy birthday, Polly. Yes, if you see Polly in the hallway, make sure to wish her a happy birthday. And that's when you're Hawks Vlog Northumberland. Ah. Good morning, Northumberland. I'm Kaylin, and this is your weekly sports update. Boys hockey are in Windsor this weekend for a tournament. Good luck, fellas. Girls varsity basketball has a game today at 4 o'clock versus North Nova at NNEC's gym. Girls hockey has a game today at 7 p.m. versus HERH at the Westville Rink. And today we have a Squawks Flock meeting. We have some basketball games coming up that we need people to keep score at. So if you are interested, please come to this meeting in Miss Fitz's room today at lunch. And that's been your weekly sports update, Nighthawks. Now I'm going to throw it over to Mr. O'Toole. Good morning. As most of you already know, today is Mr. Francis's last day with us for a little while. Mr. Francis has taken a position at Central Office in Truro for the next four months, and Mr. Morrison will be filling in the office while he is away. Mr. Francis, on behalf of Northumberland Regional High, I wish you all the best in your next endeavor. You will certainly be missed here. 
I hope that all of you get a chance throughout the day to wish him farewell. For the staff, there will be cake, coffee, and tea in the office this afternoon. Please remember to pop in. For the students, Mr. Francis has done a tremendous amount of work in helping to make Northumberland the great place that it is today. If you see him throughout the day, please make sure you thank him and wish him good luck. I hope that you all have a great Friday and an even greater long weekend.